Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at um, another unboxing video, which will be Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Blu-ray unboxing, a Walmart exclusive. I'm a little quiet because it's 6.30 in the morning and there are people at home, so yeah. And um, I woke up 5 in the morning just to get ready and stuff and went out to Walmart because I live close to a Walmart that's 2 minutes away from me just to drive there. So, yeah, and, I, and I'm hoping to film this unboxing video, upload it, get it up on YouTube before I head to class. So, yeah, and also, just like I did with the Venom unboxing video, um, I will take the figure out of the box, but I won't take the actual action figure out of the card. So, <laughs> there is that. So, if you guys want to check out my Venom unboxing video that I did a few months back, I recommend you check it out. But yeah, as you can see here, here's the front right here. And maybe I'll discuss some spoilers of this movie during this unboxing video. So if you guys don't like spoilers, I recommend you guys watch a different video or just watch this unboxing video with the volume off the whole time. So yeah, so here's the sides right here, um, the top. And nothing on the bottom and then the back right here maybe you guys can read it right here and what do you guys think of the spider-verse movie I thought it was really good I thought this was an awesome spider-man movie and pretty much um yeah and I guess there's a all-new mini movie spider ham caught in a ham interesting but yeah, here's all the bonus stuff. Alternate universe mode. I don't know what that is. So it's discover alternate scenes, plot lines, characters, and more with filmmakers as your guide. So is alternate universe mode like a commentary? Something like that? No idea. And digital movie included. And yeah, and I'm glad this movie, you know, won. I guess for best animated feature, which it deserves. And it's funny because... I do, I have met people who are not a fan of this movie just because it doesn't represent the actual Spider-Verse comics. I've never read the comics just because I'm not a modern Marvel comic reader, but I do understand people's criticisms with this movie where, um, about how this movie isn't like the comic. And my only defense for that is really just, it's called Into the Spider-Verse, so it's not called spider-verse or edge of spider-verse or whatever so it's more like a sneak peek into what's to come in the sequel so hopefully the sequel will get um you know a better representation of the spider-verse like in the comics but yeah but i do understand people's criticism expecting it to go into this movie thinking oh it would be like the book in some way shape or form so yeah, and you got the Walmart sticker right here, and you got the box right here. But yeah, but for the most part, people say that this is not a good Spider-Verse movie, but a good Spider-Man movie. So, yeah, but let's look at the figure first. You guys can see in the inside, that's how it looks, just like the Venom one. You go in here, and... Yeah, the card is pretty much the same same length, like the Venom one. It's pretty much the same thing. In the back, it's plain, just like the Venom one. And I'm, and I'm kind of curious if they're going to do this for Spider-Man Far From Home, if it ever gets a Blu-ray release, because Sony seems to be doing this for their Spider-Man movies. So, I guess we'll have to see. And then, here's a good look of Miles. Um, not bad. Not bad looking figure. So if you guys collect, you know, those Marvel Universe 3 inch figures or you guys want to pair them up with your G.I. Joes or whatever, this is a good way to go. I mean, this is a really good likeness and good, um, sculpt. But yeah, everything else is just pretty plain and yeah. So I guess articulation, head, shoulders, and hips. Pretty basic. And then you got a nice artwork right here. And yeah. So, there you go. That's pretty much the figure. Place him down here. And I guess he doesn't want to stay up. And notice how my 
uh, card is already bent, which is crazy. So let's take the Blu-ray out. And it comes with a slip cover, which is really cool. So you got Blu-ray, DVD, digital. You got a nice front cover right here. It's pretty much a generic Sp Spider-Verse cover that we see on other cases. So and then you got the back, which is kind of the same thing as the actual box. And then, yeah. And then we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's cool. We get an unmasked... Um, Miles and Gwen, but we don't have an unmasked Peter. That's strange. So, but then again, this Peter could be either one, like the Chris Pine Peter Parker or the Jake Johnson. But let's see if I can get this open. There you go. nice and before I open this I'm gonna open this and or before I show it to you guys what the inside looks like I'm gonna check for the digital code so yep the digital code the digital code is in here so so let's cover this up and that's how it looks right here And then we'll show the back, which is pretty much a generic back read. So let's place that down here. And we have the um the discs. So there you go. We have the for some reason the DVDs on this side and the Blu-rays on this side. For the Venom one, it was the other way around. So yeah, and. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the unboxing video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it or enjoyed it. And that's all there is to it. So this is Steven and I'll see you guys next time.